Hi everyone, welcome back to MDVOD, where today we're talking about sports-related injuries and we're answering your questions live on Facebook and Twitter. And we're here with sports medicine expert, uh, Dr. Ramin Hazani. Uh, first up, Dr. Hazani, can you tell our viewers why a person might go to a sports medicine specialist versus a family physician? Well, uh, sports medicine specialist basically uh, is a branch of medicine that uh, these people after finishing their medical school and going a uh, few years of uh, specialty training, they get trained in this type of injury. Uh, so uh, compared with someone who has a bit kind of basic knowledge of it, uh, of course they are able to help the injuries that are related to uh, any kind of exercise, uh, they have much better hand and they have much better knowledge. Uh, if it's a simple thing and it happens, you go to your family doctor, if they are able to treat it uh, with some anti-inflammatory medication, a little bit of remedies for a few days, it's fine. But if it's really getting serious, you should see a specialist for your uh, uh, injuries that it happens in any kind of exercise program. Um, next up, a great question about um, age and uh, sports injuries. Um, do Are older people at higher risk than uh, younger people? Um, and if not, uh, what can you teach parents about helping kids uh, that are participating in sports? Uh, not necessarily age uh, is a main factor to get sports injury. Uh, if your body is prepared, if you, are, you know what you're doing with your body, and if you know how to stretch yourself, warm up yourself, hydrate yourself, and cool down after your exercise program, the chance of getting injury is going to be much, much, much less. The problem happens when you don't know what to do when you're doing exercise. You just uh, jump on the field, doing some sort of soccer playing, football, or whatever, after a few days of sitting and not doing anything, after you, of course you injure yourself. Uh, so the best thing I would say is the knowledge and educate yourself how to deal with your exercise program. And in that case, the chance of having severe or even mild injuries are much, much less. And uh, does stretching, uh, warming up, cooling down, is that actually a, a real um, thing that works? Or? That's, that's basically the main knowledge of preventing yourself from getting injured. Uh, depends on what type of exercise you do. There are different type of uh, guidelines to do a, a stretching exercise. But generally speaking, uh, in a general community, uh, you can just learn how to stretch all of your muscle of your body at least for 10 to 15 minutes before doing any kind of exercise program. Mm -hmm. uh, warming up before doing exercise program, keep the muscles, tendon, and ligament in a shape mm -hmm. so you won't injure yourself during the acute type of movement during the exercise mm -hmm. program. The next part is hydrating yourself and getting enough electrolyte, especially if you're doing uh, hours and hours of exercise program like runners or people who are playing soccer for like two hours or football for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, better to have a bottle of Gatorade or uh, water with electrolyte. The simple thing, just put a little bit of salt and sugar in a cup of water and carry it with yourself. Then you drink it, you're all set. Uh, after exercise, cool down. Don't stop all of a sudden. Try to do a little bit of walking after gen uh, Se severe type of exercise program and try to calm down all of your muscle and tendons and ligaments in your body. In this case, the chance of getting injury is much less. Ice is one of the things that you have to be aware of. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can carry ice pack in, when you go to exercise, it helps a lot. If you have some sort of chronic pain in any joint or something like mm -hmm. that, you can put ice pack on it. That helps a lot. Okay. Great advice. Um, warm up, cool down, and uh, ice if it's swollen and hurts. Um, next uh, question is, um, this is a great question. Um, how do you know when someone has a concussion, which is another very common sports injury? Well, concussion is defined as mild brain injury. Mm -hmm. It means that basically you hit your head somewhere. We usually see it in a cyclist is the most common type. Mm -hmm. They get involved in accident or hit the tree or somewhere. Mm -hmm. Uh, the second group are people who are doing a skiing. Mm -hmm. Again, they hit the tree on the, on the slope. Mm -hmm. uh, depends on how severe it is and if they lost their consciousness during the con uh, concussion. That 
basically categorize them to three group of mild, moderate, and severe. Mm -hmm. And if they are in a severe group of concussion syndrome, they should be aware that they definitely need to be seen by a doctor, mm -hmm. and they may need to stay away from contact sport for a while. For mild to moderate, again, there are some guidelines, depends on how bad the concussion was, or how much uh, loss of consciousness they had, or how much dizziness they had at the time of concussion. Again, that uh, guide them to stay away from sport for a short period of time, longer period of time. And in fact, uh, in some cases, if you have serious injury for more than two times, you should stay away from contact sport. Okay. And uh, up next, a uh, question about uh, prevention. Um, can an annual physical exam help prevent any of these injuries? Uh, basically, for elder patient, mm -hmm. uh, what we have uh, from cardiovascular standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, people with coronary artery disease uh, who don't know about their disease mm -hmm. are in very high risk of having heart attack on the field. Mm -hmm. This is basically the most common thing that we see. Mm -hmm. In younger age, it's different. Mm -hmm. It's basically a stenosis of uh, some of the valve in the muscle of the kids. Mm -hmm. And again, they don't know they have it. Mm -hmm. They are on the field, all of a sudden they crashed on, and that's what we hear here and there, like uh, football players, 17 years old, died on the field, or an uh, older guy going playing football for 10 years, all of a sudden crashed mm -hmm. down. So it's better to be checked. Mm -hmm. <coughs> In fact, uh, especially if the little kids are going for kind of type of professional or semi-professional type of exam, uh, a sport, they should go for some sort of examination. So that's uh, great advice. Um, uh, an annual physical exam uh, basically helps risk stratify you and help uh, tell you whether or not you should be healthy enough to exercise. Of course, age is a, is a factor. If you're older, you're more at risk for heart disease. If you're younger, you're more at risk for getting a concussion uh, playing football, for example. I want to thank Dr. Ramin Hassani for joining us. That was outstanding so information and uh, great answers to questions on Facebook and Twitter. Um, if you missed any of today's show, um, make sure to go to empowerme.tv, uh, MDVOD, and make sure you stay tuned because up next, we have special guest Kim Johnson from Dancing with the Stars to tell us about her experience with fitness. And now, for any episodes you might have missed, they're available at the EmpowerBee.tv website and the YouTube channel. And be sure to leave us any comments and questions so that we can better help you deal with your disease. We'll see you next time on MDVOD.